Okay, so um, earlier today I made these uh, cups, little cups. I threw the body off of the hump and then I pulled a bunch of handles and put the handles on. And at this point the handles are leather hard and the pot is leather hard, which is very lovely and nice. And I'm going to throw a little foot onto it. So this is something that I love to use the Giffen Grip for. Just the perfect tool for this right here. So I have it centered, the handle's coming out from between two of these little grabbers, and then I, I'm going to tighten it in there. Okay. This one has a tiny little foot. Most of them have bigger feet than this. So this one will have a different look. So I take my um, scraper tool, scraper rib, scratchy rib, scoring rib, whatever you call it. Then I'm going to pull off a little chunk of clay. I could make a bunch of circles first if I wanted to, but this is the way I'm doing it today. And um, rolling a ball, and then I want this to be in a nice proportion. There should be a relationship, a visual size relationship between the foot and the cup. So I just look at that, I decide that I like it, and then here, then I'm going to make a donut here. I'm going to push the um, center out. This is going to save me a lot of water and a lot of headache. Because when you use a Giffen Grip and you're trying to throw feet on things with a lot of water, then the things, especially the rim of them that's touching the Giffen Grip, can tend to have lots of problems. So check it out. This is going to help. Starting off kind of in the shape, I'm just going to wet my fingertips. And I'm going to center this a uh, little. Well, suddenly I realize that you're, we have a relationship. Okay, so, um, your person, <laughs> your people, <laughs> instead of just a camera, it's different. Okay, so, sorry, what I'm doing is I'm centering it basically onto the foot here, and then I'm just going to give it a little pull and give it a nice little angle, feeling it with my fingers, feeling the shape, taking any water out of the bottom. And finishing the shape, let myself look over. I'm trying not to do this position too much because my friend Lauren told me, careful of your neck. And I'm like, yeah, I have so many neck problems. I wonder why. <laughs> I go to the other side sometimes, do some stretches. So we'll talk about that soon. I'll do a whole video on what to do about our neck problems. <laughs> what other kind of problems do you potters have? Okay, so I finish off with a rubber band, then I use one of my favorite little stamps that I made at some point many years ago, but it's like my classic stamp. And presto, then I'm done. There it is, it's so cute. These are so sweet, little like espresso, um, or even juice, or, or uh, like a liqueur. So then I just dry it upside down, and when the foot is leather hard, I can't move it, then I'll flip it over to dry right side up, and that's a great time if there's been any wonking during the throwing of the foot, especially with taller, like stemware, like goblets, um, or anything up on a pedestal like that, it's a great time once you just flip it over, just when the rim, well it's not the rim, it's the foot, but right now it's a rim, is leather hard enough <clears throat> that it can hold the weight, it's dry, it can hold the weight of the pot, flip it over, and then level it out. And don't touch it, dry slowly if you can. That's it. 